We begin with major new developments in a Target 12 investigation. Any thought at all to stepping aside pending the outcome of the investigation? Absolutely not. Why not? Tim, I've done nothing wrong. This is, um, you know, it's, it's what happens when you work at the State House. We caught up with Governor Dan McKee's chief of staff today. He gave his first interview about a land controversy that is now under investigation. Target 12 investigator Tim White spoke with Tony Silva as he left the State House today and is here now with the exclusive interview. Tim. Mike and Kim, less than 24 hours after Governor McKee told us he determined Silva did not abuse his position, the governor called on the attorney general and state police to investigate Silva's actions out of what he says is an abundance of caution. Tony Silva, chief of staff to Governor Dan McKee, has been under mounting scrutiny after the Department of Environmental Management reversed its decision and gave Silva's family the green light to develop this narrow piece of wetlands in Cumberland. Tony, you got a second for us? Thank you. We met up with Silva Wednesday as he left the state house. Uh, looking for your reaction to the AG uh, state police investigation. No, I welcome it. You I do. think yeah, absolutely. Anyone know, anyone who knows me and knows my career, that probably includes you as well, knows the type of person I am. Um, I'm, I'm actually happy that that's going to happen because it'll bring um, a fresh perspective to what's been going on. I haven't done anything wrong. Text messages and emails obtained by Target 12 show Silva repeatedly reached out to Cumberland Mayor Jeff Mutter about the property, even meeting with him on March 31st, nearly a year after Silva told Target 12 he had given up his financial interest in the land. Any second thoughts about trying to intervene in Cumberland and the optics of that? Tim, let me make it perfectly clear to you. I didn't intervene in anything. Not even at the town level? I have absolutely not. Never, ever, ever. That is not what Tony Silva does. Mayor Mutter and might disagree with you. He's, well, he, he, he called the governor and said he was concerned about the conversation. So if you didn't intervene, why would he be concerned? I have a lot of respect for Mayor Mutter. Mm -hmm. The discussion I had for him was out of concern for him. If he misinterpreted it, I'm, 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 you know, I'm sorry about that. A spokesperson for Attorney General Peter Nerona indicated this will be independent from the governor's office, telling us, quote, there are no limits to the scope of the investigation. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. But first tonight, a Target 12 investigators exclusive. We're hearing from Governor Dan McKee's chief of staff for the first time as he faces mounting controversy over a land deal. Target 12 investigator Tim White caught up with Tony Silva outside the State House just a few hours ago. Silva is under fire over a controversial plan to develop a wetlands property in Cumberland. Less than 24 hours after McKee told reporters he was satisfied Silva exerted no undue influence, the governor has now asked the attorney general and the state police to examine what happened. And Tim joins us now live in studio. This has really been swirling around the State House for a while. Yeah, Mike and Kim, that's right. This erupted after the Department of Environmental management reversed its previous decision and gave Silva's family the green light to develop a narrow piece of wetlands in Cumberland. And neighbors and town leaders were concerned that as the top aide to the governor, Silva got special treatment. Tony, Tony, you got a second for us? Thank you. Target 12 met up with Governor Dan McKee's Chief of Staff Tony Silva as he left the State House Wednesday. Silva told us he welcomes the Attorney General's investigation into his handling of a controversial land deal in Cumberland. Anyone who knows me and knows my career, that probably includes you as well, knows the type of person I am. Um, I'm, I'm actually happy that that's going to happen because it'll bring um, a fresh perspective to what's been going on. I haven't done anything wrong. Any thought at all to stepping aside pending the outcome of the investigation? Absolutely not. Why not? Tim, I've done nothing wrong. This is, um, you know, it's, it's what happens when you work at the State House. Text messages and emails obtained by Target 12 show Silva repeatedly reached out to Cumberland Mayor Jeff Mutter about the property, even calling a meeting with the mayor on March 31st. That was nearly a year and a half after Silva told Target 12 he had given up his financial interest in the land. Any second thoughts about trying to intervene in Cumberland and the optics of that? Tim, let me make it perfectly clear to you. I didn't intervene in anything. Not even at the town level? I have absolutely not. Never, ever, ever. 
That is not what Tony Silva does. Mayor Mutter and, might disagree with you. He's, well, he, he, he called the governor and said he was concerned about the conversation. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't intervene, why would he be concerned? I have a lot of respect for Mayor Mutter. Mm -hmm. The discussion I had for him was out of concern for him. And if he misinterpreted it, I'm, 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 you know, I'm sorry about that. but You weren't trying to get the town to drop the objection to the land? Absolutely not. That's ludicrous. Again, to anybody who knows me, knows better. Now, Mike and Kim Silva tells me he will cooperate fully with this investigation, and Attorney General Peter Norona's office says he will act independently of the governor's office, telling us, quote, there are no limits to the scope of this investigation. All right, Tim, still a lot more to come on the story. We will stay on top of it. Tim, thank you. Thank you.